是曹子孝。若阁下希望一战，我绝不手下留情。嗯嗯So just last week, Koei Tecmo released an update for Dynasty Warriors 9, uh, and the main part of that update, at least as far as I'm concerned, was the addition of a photo mode, and uh, photo mode is something that we're seeing more and more often in modern games. Uh, I think Sony's really kind of led the drive with this, with games such as Horizon, Shadow of the Colossus, Uncharted, and one presumes all of Sony's games going forwards all having these really complex photo modes that allow you to really take a... or well, to pause the action at any point in the time in the game and then really take control of the camera and create some really, you know, effectively artistic um, still shots from the game. And this is something that seems to have resonated well with uh, players. And we're starting to see more and more developers try these things as well. Not always with the same level of success. Uh, Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed Origins has a photo mode, but it's nowhere near as comprehensive as the ones that we saw in Sony's games, and therefore it wasn't as much fun to play around with, to be honest. Uh, and even Ninja Theory with Hellblade, uh, Hellblade's a brilliant game, so is Assassin's Creed Origins, but Hellblade's a really brilliant game, but the photo mode just simply wasn't as engaging. Um, I think Dynasty Warriors 9 is probably the first example of a game that's not done by Sony, which has a photo mode that I've really wanted to spend a lot of time with. And I've actually spent a lot of time over my Easter uh, long weekend, four-day weekend in Australia, uh, messing around with this photo mode and really getting in-depth with it because it's great. Uh, something that um, perhaps a lot of people don't know about me is I'm a really keen enthusiast uh, photographer. I uh, even spent time doing photography classes at university and stuff because I was right into it and wanted that to be one of a part of my skill set and have made it so. So I have a camera and whenever I get a chance to take it out and uh, take photos of events and whatever, I am there. And I really do love playing around with photos in Photoshop and um, all of that kind of stuff that comes with the experience of it being a photographer in this day and age. So photo mode in video games is actually a really big feature for somebody like me. Um, and it's something that I've wanted to see in Dynasty Warriors 9 actually since it was out and I remember saying to some of the other guys on the DDNet team that I was disappointed that this game didn't have a photo mode so for Koei Tecmo to come through and really give me one that I really enjoyed using is really impressive. So what makes for a good photo mode because it's not just about being able to pause the game and take a, school sh uh, a, a screenshot, uh, a still shot of the action at any point. It's not just about being able to manipulate the camera when the game's paused and make the U, the UI disappear so that you can take a photo like um, uh, still shot. There needs to be more to it in a, in a good photo mode and part of it is you need to be able to manipulate 
the camera as you would manipulate a proper um, camera in the real world and that means that you need to be able to have control over focus, exposure, uh, all of those kinds of technical things that photographers spend a lot of time messing around with, white balance, all of that kind of stuff is really important because it lets you then go through and uh, really manipulate the image so that it looks like something that would suit your aesthetic if you were doing photography and for instance I'm a really big fan of uh, black and white photography and wherever possible I will turn my photos into black and white shots because I like the I like the tonal aesthetic of those two contrasting you know extremes and the grays that it creates in between although a lot of the time I actually use high contrast black and white photography so there's not that much um, not, not that much in terms of grays in between I like that really kind of uh, stark look and uh, for me, obviously, being able to manipulate the uh, photo modes in these games to achieve that effect is really important. Uh, I also think it's important to be able to control the weather <laughs> and uh, time of day that you take the photo, especially in a game like Dynasty Warriors 9 where the action takes place at all times of day. So you'll be fighting in one battle at midnight and then the time will keep click, uh, kind of, uh, excuse me, the time will keep ticking along so that the next major battle you're participating in, it's kind of in the middle of the day. Uh, you'll see the sun rise, the sun set, you'll see rain come through during the winter months, you'll see it snow, all of that kind of stuff is uh, a big part of the Dynasty Warriors 9 experience, so being able to capture that through the photo mode is also very important. As you can see on the screen in front of you, I have made it snow and um, I've, I've turned it to night time so that the the sparks of light through the the fire and whatever are really stand out so this is all very important to be able to control because otherwise your ability with a photo mode kind of starts and stops while you have to having to hang around in game for a certain period of time if you want to take a photo of the sunrise in a certain spot for instance you need to manipulate the game's time um, to make that happen and as good as photo modes are and as much time as I'd like to spend in them once they have a good photo mode I, d I don't want to be kind of hanging around in the game for ages waiting for stuff to happen or need to go through menus or need to you know find a rest spot where you can sit and wait for the time to get to something which you want um, to take the photo under so being able to just manipulate the time through the photo engine is really important and valuable um, and what else do I find important? Oh the weather yeah, the weather's really important. Uh, I'm a big fan of water, for example. <laughs> um, a lot of my photography, when I get a chance, actually involves water in some way. I prefer to take the camera out when it's raining. Uh, I really like the ocean. Uh, rivers are a big thing for me. I, I just like the, the aesthetic of water and the way that water moves and trying to capture that movement through photography is a big part of my, uh, I guess, inspiration uh, when I'm doing my photography. So. I like to be able to have control over kind of light, heavy, medium, rain, fall. Um, I like to, again, if the game engine, if the game involves rain as part of the engine, as open world games do, um, being able to bring that water effect in um, when I've paused the game, even when it's not raining in the game itself, is actually a, a big feature that I tend to really appreciate. The other thing that I think is important for photo modes in games uh, is that they have a series of filters. I mean, we're talking about the Instagram generation and all that, where a lot of people, younger people especially, uh, a lot of their photography is done through their phones, and um, from there it's kind of posted up on social media with a range of filters, and Instagram really kind of pioneered that by being able to, you know, create all kinds of sepia tones or black and white, you know, just convert, convert the image wherever you've taken it and under whatever circumstances you've taken it convert it uh, into something kind of that kind of looks artsy just by using one of these filters. That's a big feature in modern uh, photography and a lot of people are quite used to using filters and it's convenient um, and a very useful way of creating a nice effect without having to learn complex photo editing software. So being able to include filters as all of these good photo modes do is a big boost again in creating a, an interface and a photography experience that people would be familiar with now and create some great effects because 
yeah, otherwise you'd have to, I guess, copy the screenshot to a USB, stick it in your computer, load up Photoshop, and then mess around with it further. And no one really wants to do that. They just want to create a nice screenshot of the moment that they particularly liked in the game. So they just want the filter right there, just like if they were using a mobile phone to capture a shot in real life. So I think those are all very important features, and I think it's really impressive that Dynasty Warriors 9's photo mode, like I said, is a really good one. Has all of these features, and it's kind of a pity it wasn't a feature in the, the base game. Um, not that I think it would have affected review scores for it, anything like that. This is kind of a feature that um, is a nice to have rather than a necess uh, necessary part of the game. So, all of the controversy over Dynasty Warriors 9 and whether it's good or not, or whether it's enjoyable or not, um, wouldn't have been affected if there was a photo mode in there from day one, but I certainly wouldn't have, would have appreciated it. And I think, I mean, another reason I think uh, a lot of developers are looking at doing photo modes is because of the social media sharing features that all modern consoles have. Um, because you can upload screenshots and videos to Twitter and Facebook and whatever, um, and a lot of people do while they're playing, uh, having that kind of photo mode to make the photo, the, the screenshots look as good and vibrant as possible is a big bonus for the developers who really want to use their fans' social media um, networks to really push out a game and, and heavily promote it as something that people want to uh, are enjoying. So the better you can make the game look through these photo modes and stuff, the more incentive you're going to have give other people to look into it as well. So I think that's probably the main driving reason that photo modes are getting added to these games at the moment. It's probably the main reason that Sony really invested it in the first place. And now that Sony's established a leadership position with this feature, a lot of other developers are now rushing to play catch-up. And the good news is that, as we can see with this one, uh, the developers are indeed catching up. Koei Tecmo is doing a great job with this one, and it puts the rest of Koei Tecmo's games in a really good space. Because a great benefit of having these photo modes is the engine that runs them should be quite easy to port between games, because it's kind of independent of the actual gameplay programming itself. It's a it's a feature to do with uh, a baser level of technology which tends to be shared across games and you can see that in Sony's games because it's quite obvious that the photo mode that was running in Horizon is basically the same photo mode that was running in the last Uncharted game and I can't remember the name of it, sorry, the one with the two female protagonists. Um, so that technology was the same, clearly the same and again it was again used in Shadow of the Colossus so it's been shared around different studios within Sony's network, which means that the technology, the underlying technology that runs these photo modes must be transferable itself. Which is great for Koei Tecmo because one of Koei Tecmo's strengths is the fact that its games have attractive characters and all of that kind of stuff. And for proof, you only need to look at Dead or Alive 6, which is going to come at some point in the near future, we are sure. Dead or Alive 5 had a camera option. But it wasn't very complex, it was basically just to uh, manipulate the camera and, and take a screenshot with it, uh, with very limited camera options. With something like this in Dead or Alive 6, you're going to see people create all kinds of amazing photography <laughs> using their favourite characters, and that's going to really heavily push Dead or Alive 6 once it comes, because the strength of Dead or Alive has always been in its characters and its visual presentation, and that's going to be the case with the next one, we're sure. And to have the photo mode there to back it up and have people sharing amazing screenshots of their favourite characters doing all kinds of acrobatic things, or in the case of the lady characters, <laughs> their, um, their skirts doing all kinds of acrobatic things, and let's face it, that's going to sell copies, and there's going to be an inundation of that stuff when Dead or Alive 6 lands. So, this is a trend that's not going anywhere soon, it's certainly something that all the big budget uh, developers and publishers will take more and more seriously as time goes forward and you'll see it more and more often so it's worth noting it's worth it's worth celebrating because it's a good feature it doesn't add anything to the gameplay but it gives people another way of engaging with their favorite games and it's certainly something that I spend a lot of time in once I decide I enjoy a game so yes Photoshop yay De uh, Dynasty Warriors 9 with it now is even better so yeah great thanks for watching and we will see you at the next video